Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Nico in the jungle. Riot turned her into an S plus carry. As long as you have the right clear down, you wanna start with Q and solo start on Raptors or Wolves. Either or will do just fine. You absolutely do not need a leash on this champion. And if you take a leash, you'll be putting your teammates behind. There's absolutely no need. So Nico can turn into anything now. She can turn into wards, she can turn into blast cones, she can turn into minions. It's pretty crazy and it adds a lot to her jungling abilities. On top of that, Riot gave her a lot of bonus damage against monsters, uh, even on her Q. So she has that on her W on hit and on her Q. So I would grab W level two. We'll continue to kite this out. We're gonna save Smite for Krugs. Auto attack in the Q and powered auto. Just need one more auto here and it's dead. Nice. We wanna kite it around the big one. Whenever your Q kills something or it hits a large minion or a champion or a large monster, it will plume out. So we're getting those delicious plumes. So we, what we want to do now is turn into a minion, but to do so, we have to exit that off and do it just like so. And now we'll turn into a minion and we'll walk it down. Lock him down into an E, get him with the E auto, W for movement speed. And this guy is toasted and roasted. Hit him with the empowered auto. He's going to be very confused. She's going to be very confused. <laughs> no one really knows about this, even though we're doing this in rank. Like most players still are not really familiar with it. So I'm going to smite that down. Get her with an auto. Another auto. Another auto into an EQ auto. I'll just keep autoing her down. She doesn't have much health left. All right, we're chilling. We're gonna go ahead and flash that, get down the EQ auto. Down goes the Poppy. Another auto onto the Lux. We're gonna cut out the Volley Bear here. Auto attack into Q, auto, W, E, auto. We have red buff autos and empowered autos from our W, so we're doing quite a bit of damage here. Very nice, very spicy. Whenever you're walking around the map before you go into a gank, you want to pretend to be a minion because your picture doesn't show up on the mini-map for the enemy champion. So it's hard for them to see you. They can only see a little dot on the mini-map and no one registers that as anything. And that's even if they have vision of that spot. So right, right now, if I was on a ward, they would only see a little dot. All right, we'll go deal with her real quick. I'll pretend to be Kench. All right. So he apparently, at the, <laughs> he went for the wrong one there. All right, we overstayed our welcome a bit. I greeted. I got too greedy. I gave Lux double buffs is what it is. First item back, we're gonna pick up tier two's Dark Sill and go straight into either Nash or Rocket Belt. I'm down to do Nash. Rocket Belt's definitely safer. Nash will give you a better return on investment in terms of clears because the synergy with your W will pretend to be a ward, but then it slows you down. <laughs> That's so freaking hilarious. I like how you can just pretend to be a ward. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh boy. Auto EQ. Nico can certainly solo dragons. You typically wait until you have at least Nash or I should say at least recurve bow, just like a Shivana would do. I need to go deal with the Lux since I gave her those double buffs. It's going to be hard for Vigar to play into that. Pike's kind of low. I might be able to one-tap him. We'll go mid here in a moment. EQ. Pretty much every gank leads in with you putting auto attack pressure on them. Or if you're close enough, you'll just EQ them immediately. That way... Uh, if, like, if they don't see it coming, if you're pretending to be a minion. Or in this case, a blue buff. Hey, friend. You get her with an EQ auto. She's inside the cage now, taking lots of damage. I smited a minion to take a little bit less here. Auto attack, Q auto. And down she goes. Very nice. I got all my uh, buffs back here. My goal isn't to steal the Vigar CS. I'm just trying to push the wave. We could use our Hex Flash. I didn't feel like we needed to. Absolutely not. Auto attack EQ. 
The Nico Plume feels really good after the changes. Where's the champion large monster? Yep. Very nice. I like it a lot. I'm surprised it's not like that for large minions. It's just for champions or a large monster. It seems to be counting medium Krog. We'll double verify here. We'll auto into Q. Yeah, even for like medium Krug, it kind of seems to count it. I guess medium Krug is smiteable. Look to go top here. We'll pretend to be a minion. Should go through the lane. I don't want Kench to die. I'm pretending to be a minion here, so he doesn't really know that I'm here. I'm going to W forward, get him with E, auto Q. <laughs> That's so freaking hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to hit him with the XD. This is so good, man. <laughs> so freaking good. <laughs> Boy Bear responds to my XD with an XD. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be going top here in a moment. Oops. Yeah. W out into an E auto Q into an R and hello. Then again with an auto Q down he goes. Rest in pepperonis, woolly bear. We have a lot of burst. Just got to kite him out there a little bit. He overcommitted. He doesn't want to go back to base and lose all this stuff. So he's trying to get something done there. Hmm. I need to get auto attacks on her. These are red buff autos as well, so they're doing decent damage. I'll pretend to be Kench. She's I, she probably doesn't think it's the real Kench. Who knows? Maybe she's she's lying to herself because she thinks it could be. All right. Uh, maybe Lux just doesn't know. She might fall for the old minion trick. And I'll flash EQ, and we got it! <laughs> That's so freaking hilarious. I like how she fell for it. She almost died if I had just a little bit more gold spent. Nice. <laughs> she got minioned. <laughs> oh, man. I'll attack an EQ. We'll smite it. Move on to the red buff. Look to gank top. Red buff Nico ganks are so freaking scary. Keep kiting them out. Auto attack E. And we keep on kiting. Your E gets bigger once it passes through something. So, for example, if we E through the small one, the big one will be snared for longer than the small one was. Just how it works. Uh, oh yeah, I'll come top here. I don't want to pretend to be red buff, so we'll cancel that out. We need to get close to a minion, ideally. Uh, cat's kind of out of the bag there. Mm, I guess I could go mid. Poppy's bot side. I could harass him underneath turret. So yeah, we could even pretend to be a blast gun, which is hilarious. I don't know why we'd ever want to do that, but auto EQ. Got him. Dude, we have so much burst. It's insane. The best thing to pretend to be as is a control word or a minion. A minion, so when the enemies see you on the map, you don't. it doesn't register on the minimap as a champion, so the big picture on the minimap doesn't show up. They won't even notice you. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll pick up Nash. No mercy from Nico Jungle. Volibear wants some mercy. <laughs> no mercy, dude. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's get this blue. There's really no reason to pretend to be a monster. I mean, maybe if you're waiting for the enemy jungler, but even then, there's no reason to pretend to be it. Because they'll see doubles and be like, what the hell is going on here? So the only things you should really pretend to be is minions or control words, generally speaking. Everything else is like, way too situational. 
I haven't really used Hex Flash at all this game. Haven't needed it. These ganks have been really easy since the enemies are immobile. Try it again with the EQ. Got some mild red buff pressure on him. Take this down. So for example here, we can... If there was a control word there, we would pretend to be a control word. And stand over it, flush. We'll go ahead and W on out. Auto attack into an EQ. She should die, yeah. We just held on to our snare there, if you notice. We put auto attack pressure on her first. And then it forced her to run away at that point. We have 10 stack on Dark Seal, so these guys are kind of in trouble. We're, we're scaling really hard with these Dark Seal stacks. And I have a lot of CS. Think about how much we've been ganking. We're 84 CS 12 minutes in. That's pretty dang solid for how much we have been ganking. Like here, I can pretend to be a control word, but I don't. I can't actually see words as a control word. Go on W out, get her with the EQ. She smited it. I have the bush warded. Get him with the R. Down he goes. And Kench died. I should have just hit the turret. I kind of goofed there a bit. Kench had an easy setup for me. Yeah, he said you're in the game. Get her with the EQ. Miss it. But she went for my clone instead. <laughs> yeah. How funny is that? Kench kind of griefs there a little bit. He's like, you're back in the game now. All right, we're going to go ahead and pick up a mesh. It is time for the mesh, baby. Pick that up. Pick up this. And I'm pretty sure you get their movement speed. I thought, I think that's how it works. 417. Yeah, your stats do change, even like the movement speed a little bit. So Vigar is moving 422 for whatever reason on me. I don't know why that is. Kench has tier 2 boots. Vigar doesn't, so... Just pick whoever's faster if you're not going to pretend to be a minion. Like right now, we need to uh, go get the juice out of the minions. We're going to W in Invisible, EQ. Well played, Kench. Give me those juicy mesh stacks. Even if they have a dragon, we're so big. As long as I don't throw my gold lead. These guys are in some serious trouble. The extra 50 magic damage against monsters. Pretty nice. Oh, these guys are in trouble. I'm going to flash smite it. I'm moving really quick. I'm moving very, very quick. She's moving pretty quick herself, though. And I went the wrong way. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to play Nico Jungle next round. Just check the clear out. As long as you know the clear out on Nico Jungle, she's actually insanely easy. First few minutes. You just need to check the replay on this game, then he's good to go. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, they still don't know how it works. They don't understand that if you see an extra minion, it's super, like, you need to get out of there. That's Nico. And most players, they're not used to the Nico new R scooping you up earlier than it used to. They're not used to the extra minion. They're not used to her pretending to be a control word. Because, yeah, you walk out as red buff. Like, obviously, they know they know that's not right. It's like seeing a flying horse. It just doesn't make sense. But when they see an extra minion, they don't even perceive it. When they see the control word, they don't perceive it. Or in this case, if I'm going to be this, I can stand on top and they won't perceive that. But if I stand here, then obviously they know something's up. Now, poor Volibear, man. He got turbo camp. You go, she's 550 base auto attack range. That's really solid. That's a normal 80 carry auto attack range. It's not a nerf like Teemo 500 range or like a Thresh 450. I'm pretty sure Thresh is 450. We're going to W out. Auto EQ. Missed everything. Oh, I'm getting dead. That's bad. I lost all my mesh there. That pike's popping off. Uh, we need to get 
basically Zanya's second. They have so much burst. Nico is really squishy. And in that fight, we, we did not have enough people. Like, full item Poppy, full item Bully, full item Pike. I was one full item plus some mesh stacks, right? Kench is one full item, so we can't really fight like that. I was sitting on too much gold. <laughs> yeah, probably let's not find out. He's thinking about eating me. Draven's tier 1 boots. I think Vigar's faster. Yeah, if I'm moving at 422. Or as me, I'm 422. So for whatever reason, me and Vigar both move at 422. We need to get this dragon. They have a lot of lethality and flat penetration on the Lux and Pike. I really do like Nash, especially if you're going to clear heavy or in ganks. Nash is really useful for pounding out lots of high damage auto attacks. Hey, look at me now. <laughs> oh, man. Holy Bear's going to get that turret. We need to go and stop him. We can save our invisibility and speed up for when he goes in on us. He's got his passive stacked up here. Auto attack into an EQ. Down he goes. I was waiting to throw out my snare because I didn't want Swain to pull him out of it. So I was just going to wait. I was going to wait no matter what. So that uses it up there. We have to... Rejuice a minion after that. Once we leave that form, it's then erased. Auto EQ. Very nice. Yeah, I'm at 133 CS. I'm so happy with that. So we gank very, very often this game. Three can't clear into ganks. I think we can get an early Baron because I have Nash. I think it's very doable. Get with an EQ. She's dead. Oh, that Lux Shield <clears throat> is clutch. At least I got a Dark Harvest stack. <clears throat> Getting some allergies here. I'm pretending to be a Raptor. E auto QR. Down he goes. And we're out of there. Let me farm this up real quick. E into Q. Yeah, I kind of need to... Oh, I didn't even see the big raptor there. It's kind of funky. You can certainly go for a red jungle item. I think blue's better, though. Gives you more engage potential, which is what Nico needs the most. Got it. Auto into EQ. She's moving quick. My goodness. I need to get out of here because Pike. Pike's the main reason more than anything else. Yeah, I just don't know where Pike is. The W speed up doesn't last for that long. Sure, every third auto, 10% movement speed. But uh, the active doesn't last long at all. Ooh, yeah, you feel that, Kaisa? Yeah, she's feeling that. I'll pretend to be control word. Yeah, they don't know. They don't know. We got to use the S key, stand on top of it. All right, let's go back to normal mode. <laughs> normal Nico time. We have the bush speed up. We can easily EQR get on top of them or EQR flash or EQR rocket belt. I don't have rocket belt yet. A lot of times you rush rocket belt since we were ahead. I didn't bother. I wanted more damage output. Flash EQ. I'll take the kill. I don't want to overcommit and die. Because I still have shutdown gold and I don't want to lose 10 mesh stacks. There's no need to die here. I don't know why they're saying GG's. We're not even that far ahead since they got my 1,000 shutdown gold. Yeah, like being a Gromp, that's the thing. Like being a jungle monster is 
pretty much useless. Because you're like, oh, you can wait for the enemy jungler to come or someone to show up. It's like, if there's more, it, it wouldn't make sense. If there's two red buffs, like, it doesn't make sense. You'd have to kill it, then pretend to be it. But why not just wait in the bush then and you get the same effect? This doesn't make a lot of sense. Get red buff autos, W into an EQ. We get the full snare duration since it passed through something first before it hit him. It was uh, three seconds instead of one and a half, so it doubles. Yeah, let me get this real quick. Nice. Having something in front to snare off of is kind of big. Draven picks up a kill. They said GG, but they're not surrendering. So you can't trust people, man. They'll, they'll say anything. Turk gets dumpstered. With our Nash, we can shred inhib. The more AP you have, the more damage your auto attacks do against structures. That's why we're shredding the inhib so hard here. I have a lot of AP and a lot of attack speed. Should probably just go for drag. Yeah, I'm going to go for drag. Whatever. We don't have the minions to actually kill them here is the thing. We're just going to get hit by a random luck snare and die. All it takes is one random luck snare. Look. You're like, oh, you get 13 kills. Look at that. Dude, she has two full items tier 2 boots. I'm like basically two full items tier 2 boots. Like, we're both equal gold spent. Granted, I'm sitting on like 4k gold. But that's not the point. The point is, just because you feel like you're really strong and fed doesn't mean you should take every fight there is. You still have to choose your battles on uh, the given information. And that's why I called it off. Ooh, look at that. A dual take. Teammates randomly dying. Very weird time for them to go off and die. Uh, I wish there was a better way to deactivate what's currently consuming your copycat slot. But there's just not at the moment, unfortunately. Auto E. Yeah, I kind of need to. I, uh, I kind of want to reset. I have too much gold. Wait, why are we not chasing her? Poppy dies, then we take Baron. Simple. I gave us the speed up off plant. I also have mesh mobility. We'll hit her with smite. Then E. Red buff auto. Into an EQ. Down she goes. We could take Baron off that. From from here, we would go Zanya's into Rocket Belt. Normally, you'd go Rocket Belt first item. Only reason I didn't is because I was so fed. It made more sense to push for Nash instead. <clears throat> James not coming now. He's making me tank. What a turd. He has life still. Thank goodness we have Tom Kench, man. Got a front line on our team. Auto E auto. I'll smite it. I smited it a little late. I do want to back. I'm sitting on 5k. I'll go ahead and get Rocket Belt, then I'll go for Zanius. Then we really should go for Robidon next. I'll pick up Oracles. You pretty much always want to carry a control word on you so you can do the control word trick. It hasn't been that useful this game. It's just because my team's so far ahead, the enemies aren't gonna randomly step up to break a control word because they feel like they'll die for it. No, we want to pretend to be the minion. Pick anyone. All right, there we go. Just minding my own business. Look at me, dude. And I don't show up on their mini map even if I'm on a ward. I just show up as an extra minion. How cool is that? Oh, I'm discovered. No. I don't know why I became discovered there. That was a little weird. W to speed up to her. We can control our clone as well with our by reactivating W. That way we can also get some better vision. 
I would like to kill her, believe it or not. Why does she have plant after plant, though? Okay, anyways. GG's. <laughs> we'll take a look at damage all damage taken and runes. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we were not the highest in the game. I feel like we could have been if the game lasted a little bit longer. For damage taken, middle of the pack, and for runes, high value. All in all, Nico Jungle is easily an S tier carry if you're running the right jungle routes and you're doing the ganks properly. She has insane carry potential. She's so much fun to play right now, too. You should definitely get out and play her before Riot and nerfs her because I think she clears her camps too quickly and with too much HP. It's a little unbalanced. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.